Ladies and gentlemen. Are you recording? Boys and girls, anybody who identifies as anything, welcome to the Amateur Half Hour Podcast, a recap of X on the Beach Season 3, starring Mark Jansen, Marie Rhoda, Not and yet. yours truly, Devin Walker. Thank you for joining us. Before we get started, we have a couple sponsors that we need to shout out. Official sponsorship. Uh, Devin Walker, where Devin Walker, okay, on Instagram, Twitter, BuzzFeed, all of the above. Buy is my that clothing. your official logo? Uh, this is a t- this is a this is a really bad version of the logo. <laughs> I was gonna looks, say, I was like, yikes. That kind of <laughs> looks like the bat symbol in a weird way. Um, this is not the official logo, but it's a work in progress. Um, this I like it. Yep, this podcast is also sponsored by Mark Jansen Fitness. If yes. you want to get fit and you want to be smart, get fit with my man Mark. Thank you. Just thought of that. I love that. I have my motto is change your mindset, change your lifestyle, but yours is a little more catchy, Devin, so I may have to think about switching. <laughs> <laughs> In the event that you would like to change your mindset, I encourage you also change your lifestyle chicken and <laughs> chicken or the egg hashtag Mark Jansen fitness also <laughs> we have we also have one other sponsorship uh, a very actually a a typhoon of the beverage industry reached out to Marie this week and uh Michelob Ultra in the building 95 calories 100 percent fun Michelob Ultra yeah. So now, without further ado, here we go. Well, Anne Marie's gone. So we did the intros, and Marie has disappeared. Uh, per usual, this is going to be a shit show. Uh, <laughs> me and Mark both had big episodes. Yeah. And Mary yep. is yet to wash up on the beach. This yeah. was one of my all time favorite episodes of reality TV ever. And it's not Speaking just. Speaking of which, okay. This. Wait, I just need to say this. This Mm -hmm. is the episode, and Devin tweeted it perfectly, that started a beautiful friendship. This episode right here. There it is. And Marie hates us. I don't know what you're talking about, so we'll get to that. We'll we'll explain it. Honestly, I can't wait to fill you in, because the the behind-the-scenes of episode two are top tier. It's a lot. A lot. Top tier. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Overall, what do you think about the episode? Rating scale, I'm going 8.8. I was going to go 8.6, but... uh, I'm going high 8. I I always need a 6 in there, but I like... It was a good episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As someone who doesn't like to watch TV unless I'm on TV, um, Mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed watching it. And it went by very, very quickly, so that's always a good sign. It did. It did. Did you guys feel like the commercials weren't that long either? Was that they, were, they weren't that long, no. Because I hopped on live with Michi, and it's like, boom, right? To, it, it was like right back on. Yeah, I don't know if that's a new thing that the network is doing or if it's just for the show or if I'm just like a total narcissist and I feel like the commercials go by faster when I know I'm going to be on TV. But either way, I felt everything. like, yeah, probably a little bit of blend of that. Uh, I really do feel like that it was just kind of a smooth sailing uh, episode, and I I do weigh that in my rating scale. Uh, not just content from me and Mark Jansen. It's also, you know, as as a whole, the presentation as a whole, yeah. as a whole, and yeah. uh, it was great. Personal ratings. So I'd like to segue well, into epi- that. I got a question episode. for you, Marie. Where do you rate me and Mark Jansen? Scale of one to ten. Performance in Week two's episode. Where are we? I would I'd call it an eight. For both of us, rookie score, no decimal. I mean, if you want it decimal, I'd call it like a seven point seven. Now For both of us. Down. But what about yeah, what about Am I, one I'm rating? Yeah, what what seven point seven is less yeah. than eight. What about one rating for me and one for Mark? Like who got like what you gotta tell us our rating separately. You're on the spot, Marie. This is a yeah, live podcast. Are you like trying to like get a joke out of me right now? Because <laughs> I was Marie. hoping that I was hoping that you weren't gonna that, that you weren't gonna fall for low hanging fruit here. I'm serious. Where do you think we are? 
I feel I like my – I'm giving I, I myself a 9-4. I'm giving myself a 9-4. I'm giving Mark Jansen a 9-5. Yeah, it's definitely in the nines. Like, from the way that I handled everything that was thrown my way, to have that smile – Throughout Thank you. the entire time. I mean, it's hard. To, it's really hard to say anything bad about. Oh, well, my God. Saying, I've been saying that, Mark. Okay. It's- well, regardless. So we start the episode, right? And we get a new ex. Yes. Billy Cara, was only. Cara shows up. He's happy for Billy. Cara came. What are we thinking? Um... Really have no... I had no idea. I had no idea what was going on. Billy's a very... Billy was very, like... He wasn't saying too much about, like, which ex was going to come and how it was going to go. So I had no idea. So if he's being honest about the fact that he had just come out so soon to his family and knowing the situation and, like, the cameras and all that stuff, I could totally understand why, like, one, it's a weird situation to talk about so quickly. And two, on this show, I thought it was kind of boring a little bit because they don't even get made fun of because it's such a serious it was thing. serious yeah i they saved all the cheap shots and low blows for me yeah um i def but i handled it like mm. a champ they didn't give a ton of ammo to be made fun of either this is true you know what i mean like we're right now what we're looking at is an absolute train wreck scenario on mark and elena with aubrey on the date she comes in and so that's like there was a ton of info or ammo there to make fun of and jales and cameron are obviously a total joke and then anthony now we've got anthony and jales and cameron total joke it's like cara and and billy what did they give us how could we make fun of them moving forward you're in the hot tub hot tub was sick oh i was I was so hungover from the beach party. So the hot tub happened right after a car came in the house or came, came on the beach. So Something very day. important to mention. The hot tub at 5 p.m. was not a hot tub. That was a cold tub. It took six hours to heat up. And not he, a- <laughs> he, Mark, and Anthony sat in that hot tub for nine hours. Got it. As it no. went from realistically 65 degrees to 103 it did so, not get that hot yeah it didn't there it didn't it, <laughs> it went it went from I was trying cold, to give a break it went from cold to warm not really important <laughs> whatsoever really has nothing to do with no, the episode but you warmed um, it up and that's then, behind the scenes though that's, that is behind that's behind the scenes behind we were the in scenes. there bro we were in there so then everyone else joins you guys Party starts. What didn't people see? Uh, this is only a half hour podcast. <laughs> yeah, so. there was so much. Like, to give the cliff notes. I know one. I know one. Like, oh, you know one. Okay. The, oh, the titty. Oh, the oh, the the uh, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this. The gluten free nipples. That's what that that's means. where gluten free started. I still don't understand. Yeah, those are gluten free nipples. Uh, no, it's it's the like it's gluten free titties. The whole thing's gluten free. Yeah, not, we're not, yeah, we have yeah, we're we're not sure where how yeah. that happened. That came that did happen though. Oh yeah, Michi and Michi and Aubrey had some titty sucking going on. Didn't hate it. Didn't hate it. So yeah. And then the camp thing, obviously he picked which ass and which was all the make incredible. A incredible material out of you. <laughs> That's my ass. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was, get the fuck away, man. That's that ass is for me in this house. Um, even though I didn't really act like that the whole time. No. Not well, at all. you know. See, no. I'm, I'm glad we have Marie here because Marie's like, I'm realizing she just is really likes Elena and she's team Elena <laughs> all the way. And I think she's starting to be less and less Team Mark because of how much Team Elena she is. It's not that I'm necessarily Team Elena. I've obviously like met you. I've never met Elena before. But like if I was in that situation, first of all, I guess what's up there? <laughs> you had, you had you, sex with Elena, right? Twice, yes. I never had sex with Elena. Okay, Devin. And then, <laughs> what is it? Three weeks before this all started, you guys were together. 
We were together three days before all this started. Okay, even better, right? <laughs> so you have to imagine that she's coming in this house with like some sort of like feeling that things are going to be okay. And then you sleep with her in the house. Right. What's the question? What's your point, Marie? <laughs> Marie, where are we going? No, I, the, I, point. the point I, is, is that you're, the point is, is that. Don't do the mixed oh, signals I'm, thing. It's don't not do that, the, Tina Lena. I'm a team that, like, I get why the fuck she uh, was so close. No, but I, I did make it clear I'm not ready for a relationship right now. I couldn't do a relationship right now. If we're going to have fun, let's have fun and enjoy it. But I can't do, I'm not mentally, emotionally ready for a relationship right now. Okay, well, that wasn't clear to people that were watching it. Right, so I may, I've may i made that very clear because as it was clipped together, I'm such an asshole who doesn't talk to Elena, despite how many conversations I had. They didn't show any. They just showed me saying, I'm done with this. Um, no, I He's made it. doing it again. <laughs> as I'm smiling. See, Devin, I, like, I'm upset and like I'm, I, I have like all the emotions, but I'm smiling because it's just, it's a situation and I like to make the best out of it. But yes, it I made it clear situation. that I couldn't be in a relationship right now. Did I? Were there mixed emotions and mixed signals? Possibly, possibly. But I, it's not like I was leading her on to a relationship. Wasn't. You can't. You can't break with a. You can't break up with someone after so long. Come on to a show and like have like this little lingering thing before it, and then think that she's not gonna like think there's some sort of like hope for this. All right, well, let's clear this up. I walked in the shower because I wanted to bathe myself. And Thank then you. I turned around clean himself up. and she comes in. She seduced me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's all naked and shit. And then. Seductor. Yeah. Like, I, she seduced me. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Jansen, you're in deep shit at this point. Why? <laughs> You're fucking <laughs> because you're fucking your ex in the shower, and there was another ex that came after her, which was Cara. But there's no drama with Cara. There's all the drama with Elena. You had to be waiting for another ex to show up with some drama, and you want to know what, my man? You got it because yeah. Shannon comes out of that water hot. like a whole Sh snack. Shannon came in hot. Shannon comes in, she's fucking fire, she's just like heated up, looks great. Um, like her I said and Jess before, got into it. Her and Jess I got think into she it. She had the most exciting entrance thus far. Mark, how happy were you to know that another ex was on their way? I was I was just ready for it because I was going through so much with Elena and just all the drama and I I could I can't even figure out my own shit. So I just at least want to enjoy somebody else's drama. And Billy and, and Cara were so private. I needed to enjoy somebody else's. Oh, and we got it. Yes, we did. That's Hashtag sure. the drink. The drink. But no, 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 no. You're missing over a great part when Shannon's speaking to Anthony and he's not saying much as usual. And they did like the tele. What, what oh, my talking? God. That was one of the funniest moments. That was so good. Wait, the what? I gave my heart. I mean, oh. like the... But she like wasn't actually crying. But she was Just like staring. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, I'm sorry. And she was like, OK. <laughs> and just like walked out. Shannon was emotional. Wait, I also love when she got to the house and like the first oh, thing good. she said was like, you guys want to take a shot? <laughs> I was like, OK. And then yeah. Entrance into the out of the beach. She had a great entrance into the house. Yeah. And then uh, she had a lot of Hennessy. And threw a drink in Anthony's face, which Didn't was he it. Didn't yeah, I feel the same way. God, we see. are at the Shack of Secrets. Yes, I was. Ex I was honestly excited for the Shack of Secrets because I just I love I I hate drama, like in my daily life. But in I remember this, you know, there's gonna be drama. Just bring it on. I, I was happy going down to the Shack of Secrets. I was very happy. So, Mark, you're uh, going to you're gonna sit there. You're going to sit there as a full-grown man and tell me that when a bottle came up and had a message in it, and Abrio Day read it and said, Mark and Elena, go down to the Shack of Secrets, you were excited? 
You heard, yes, because if you were paying attention, I'm like, hopefully it's some shit on Elena. It wasn't. I was really hoping it'd be on Elena. Well, I, you know, how does that make any sense? It makes sense. I'll, let me answer this one for you, Mark. It makes sense because as we learn in the episode, Mark didn't actually do anything wrong. Okay. So, so he, it makes sense why he's not worried to go down to the shack because he's got nothing to be exposed. Thank you, Devin. Couldn't have said it better myself. You guys are like fucking stepbrothers. It's so annoying. All right. Well, this uh, it's only fitting because this was the episode where it started. And got clear, it. So uh, how did that start? Why don't you guys tell everyone? Well, I'd like also just to say that I'm Will Ferrell. <laughs> I don't like the other guy. <laughs> you can be yo, Jansen. You're the other guy, bro. No, I'm, like, I'm like Marky Mark in um. Nah, bro. We don't know who that guy is, but we know he's you. What is? What? Who is that guy? No Mark one knows. Walker. No, yeah, it's like, I like Dale. Him his, name, his name is Dale in the movie. <laughs> Let's don't be know fair. Is. I'm not Will Ferrell's biggest fan. If you guys are watching this, comment on it in some capacity and tell us who that guy is. Back to the shack. Yeah. Once once you hear that, Mark, once you start hearing the Tinder talk, you got to know it's you, right? I knew it was me right away. As soon as I heard Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, you knew. Okay. What the fuck, Mark? What do you mean? Didn't you oh, watch the episode? Devin, don't even don't even do that because you even <laughs> tweeted out something about the fact that like if you had just broken up with someone somewhat recently, like that's funny. not cool. That's not No, cool. that was pure sarcasm, was it yeah. not? <laughs> well, not. I was actually serious that if I end a relationship with someone, I expect at least three years of celibacy. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's true. serious? Wait what for the me. What are you guys talking about? Three years? Mark, wait for me. 36, you know 36 months in an interview. Minimum, Mark, 36 month minimum. Honestly, yeah. become a nun. Become a nun. Or you didn't or you never loved me. <laughs> become a nun or you Everybody's never different. loved me. Everybody's no, different. I feel like a lot of people are on that page, Mark. <laughs> yeah, it's a psychotic page to be on, but we're on <laughs> it. Yeah. I mean, I there's so much that I could get into, and I really want to. But the bottom line is, I didn't handle the situation the best. I'll, like, I'll leave it, like, there. But, like, it's not just, like, black and white, like, oh, we broke up or didn't break up or we were on a break, and then I just hook up with another girl. Like, it's not that black and white. Like. Mark, isn't that the entire point of the podcast? Yeah, is but, it, I mean, like, I, ha- I did bring a Bring color time. to the black and white? Yeah, I mean, it was a very rocky relationship. And we were on the down where I was just mentally checked out. And for me, because I have issues that I'm seeing a therapist about, like I talked about openly because I'm not ashamed, is that I have a hard time moving on. So in my mind, I'm just like, if I wasn't talking to somebody else, I was going to be talking to her. So I'm a very reactive person. I'm trying to work on it. I have a question. What is the best piece of advice your therapist gave you about that? Because I feel like a lot of people can relate with that. Here's the thing. I, cause I see multiple therapists. Therapists are very different. One's like, yes, it's, it's human nature. If you're not, if you're not with somebody else, go try to find somebody else. There's no, well, there's no timeline. There's no time frame, right or wrong. Just go. Right. Don't, and some therapists say that you should be celibate for three years. I mean, it's just a difference of opinion. Dr. Devin. Yes. Um, my, <laughs> It's like, you know? it's, it's just such like a, a situation where I never wanted it to happen like it did. And I just didn't know how to get out of the relationship. And I just, I, I ended it and I just wanted to move on. And whether it was ended properly or it was a break or a breakup, like whatever it was, I really don't want to get into that, especially when I'm here and she's not. It's really not much fun. Um, <laughs> Is it, Elena going to be our first guest? No, that's a hard no. Well, that's I, a hard no. Well, actually, is Elena if, if, upset with you after last night's video? Last night's video of what? I mean, the episode, whatever. This is a very. That's just a whole thing. Like I, I'm trying to. I understand. <laughs> Next question. <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smiling right now. If you can't see me, because it's just. Mary, I'm gonna take that. I'm so, I'm as so emotional. Yes. I'm, I'm so emotionally drained. 
from all of this. Yeah. Um, Ditto. I'm out here chain smoking cigarettes, drinking fucking one of our unofficial sponsors, Hobo Life. <laughs> Yo, here, I'm this, seriously here, no, this is, like, can I relocate outside too? This is this is the best this is oh. the best way for me to sum it up. Okay, this is the best way for me to sum it up. I it's hard for me to explain all my actions, all her actions, all the like what ifs, why'd I do this, why'd she do that? But if roles were reversed and she was on a date with somebody else and she hooked up with somebody else right after and I found out like I don't I would be upset and I would be hurt. Like so, I yeah, obviously I would be upset and I would be hurt. Yeah. So no one's blaming Elena. Honestly, I thought she was great <laughs> TV. Elena was hilarious. She was very. Elena funny. was hilarious. I'm actually so, very upset with the both of you for like not convincing them to send I don't know Anthony home first, considering Shannon was hot and also considering how great Elena would be for the show. I thought you guys knew better than yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, at that point, I really didn't care. Uh, I had gotten, I had gotten to the bottom of it when it came to, well, let me put it right there. Marie, like you know? in the episodes, you see me struggling to who I want to send home. And in like, my biggest thing was just respect me. And if we have an issue, we will talk about it. Me and you, I don't want to like, this the whole is, house blow up this, was what really sent Mark over the edge. This isn't you like, just, <laughs> this isn't big brother where you can do whatever you want. And I'm just going to be there and just be happy. Like there's a lot of issues and I don't need this shit. Like, I don't need to be, I don't want to, I'm not going to be disrespected by you. I don't want to be disrespected. God damn it. And so the big fight after the Shack of Secrets just put me over the edge. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, we just found out there's only three votes. Me and my man, Billy, have two of the three votes. And you're just going to blow up on me in front of the entire house? Yeah. It's not smart. What do you mean, yeah, Marie? Because not people smart. have emotions. Like, get over it. Look. I would 100% do everything That's differently. That's it. That's it. I grew from it. But as far as the show is concerned, her freaking out on me the night before eviction is not like it's not. Especially, especially with the character assassination of labeling someone as a cheater. That's who what I mean. You, you can also imagine that, like, I heard that she had there were a lot of fights that they didn't show and like feeling like you're alone and then not having the person that you expected to be there for you. You know what I'm saying? Are you doing a little foreshadowing? foreshadowing. That's actually a really good segue into really the apex of the show. The friendship that started because of this episode. So up until the hot tub, I wasn't a fan of Devin. Me and Devin were, then we had a little conversation, warmed up to each other, still a little iffy because... Devin's a very unique individual and I didn't really quite know him yet. And then we get to me coming up from the shack of secrets. And then I'm so pissed off after the fight that just happened with Elena. Elena goes up to talk with all the girls. And then Devin goes, Devin and Anthony go downstairs. And I'm like, does anybody want to, cause I didn't even get a chance to say my side in front of the house. I'm like, so is anybody going to listen to me? Like, this is crazy. So then Devin pulls Elena aside and I'm about to lose my shit. Cause I'm like, okay. Devin's going to go support Elaine, and then he's going to say some, say some bullshit to me. So he comes over with a drink, and he just looks at me, and he's like, Mark. And he's something along these lines. He's like, you're not a liar. That's actually <laughs> verbatim. You're not a liar. <clears throat> and then we did a cheers. And yep. then I'm like, okay, I like Devin. And then I'm just going to um, snowball fast on that. Yeah. Just fast forward to after the ceremony, and then I just come in, and Devin turns into – my biggest hype man ever just talking about my smile and I've never seen an individual the rest is history. And this is actually good because we've blocked out about six minutes for this earlier on in the podcast. Are we on There's time? a few things. Yeah, we have plenty of time. There's a few <laughs> things. There's a few things we have to get to before this. Um, before my six minute monologue about how great Mark Jansen is, but after the Shack of Secrets, there was, it was clear that someone was lying. And I deemed it my responsibility to figure out who that was. But here's the thing. but I, I didn't care. Honestly, at that point, I didn't care who it was. The point I of just the knew is, someone it's not about was lying. lying. It's about they have different calendars, right? Like, it's about like, being a lion. Oh, my God. Forget it. Do you guys want to finish this? Because I'm over it. Marie, Marie this is episode two. Please. <laughs> Please stick it through right, this one. Mary, fine. Give us the female perspective. The female perspective 
is that it doesn't count as a fucking like a date or a number. If you if she if you broke up with her on a Sunday before Valentine's Day, which I don't know how many days that is, but how many days is that numbers guy? It's four days. Yeah, it was four about days. four. Four days, which I don't think was ever actually said, and I think that will change a lot of other people's opinions. Is that four days? There was a calendar on the episode. They literally drew arrows. They did it. They did. On Valentine's Day? On Valentine's Day? No, it was the day before Valentine's Day, Marie. And for the record, Valentine's Day is a Hallmark holiday that's been created by the fucking (laughs) Matt, (laughs) the powers to be, to trap us. And so I actually give Mark credit. A couple other a couple other things that I do want to get to is Jalas acting like Anthony did anything mean to her it, when it was just so obviously a Jalas based relationship where he probably was like yeah cool like you're cool and she was like I love you and then the like did he really cheat on her I don't fucking know. Did he cheat on Shannon? Hundred thousand percent, no doubt. Did Jaleesa even really care about Anthony? And if she did, was it justified? I don't think so. I never really got the full backstory with those two. It didn't seem like it. So that one was kind of out the window. And then the other one is Billy and Carr, and they step up. And I'm thinking, I'm watching my the show inside. I'm eating my popcorn, and I'm thinking this is going to be some of the worst television I have ever laid eyes on in like a Phoenix from the ashes, Mark Jansen dressed to the nines put in a precarious situation. You know what's so funny? I can just see Mark right now, like staring at you on the computer screen with like just a huge (laughs) smile. smile. Like, Oh my God. Ray, don't be jealous. I smile at you too. When you talk sometimes, Never. Put in just an absolute horrid scenario, ends up pulling out the Michael Jordan in the flu game. We're talking about Tom Brady <laughs> down 28-3 in Atlanta. Oh, we are talking comeback game. city. This man was buried. And for 45 minutes, he got grilled by Romeo and handled himself with class and a smile. Like I have never seen delivered on any stage. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the moment that I knew Mark Jansen was for real. That was it. Because he wasn't a liar. He did have a great smile. And There's he came a difference correct. between lying and lying. <laughs> <laughs> Marie, I handled there the situation. Marie, I handled the situation poorly. That was a great episode. Yeah. Free Mark. Hashtag Free Mark. The podcast is wrapped up. It is time now for episode two's Amateur Hour Award. So last week I, I bit the bullet. thought about this. Yeah, last, last, last week, week I, I took it like a man. I yep. Mark voted for himself in a ridiculous turn of events. <laughs> um, I'm very convincing when I want to be. I, yes. again, am going to vote for Andy. I'm going to co-sign. Week, I'm voting for him again. He got a drink thrown in his face. His whole situation blew up. He just doesn't say much. Has he said a right real his, sentence? Right in his grill. Uh, he just kind of took it and smiled. He's wearing a bubble coat in the middle of Malibu. I just don't. I just don't see how he's not getting the amateur hour, amateur half hour award of the week. Oh, and I, uh, I well, vaguely. Yeah, you got it. It's two against. It's two. Yeah. Vote. So I don't even need to cast my vote. Um, I vaguely. No, you remember, do. You do. I vaguely remember <laughs> no, our do. confession together, me and him, right after he got his drink thrown in his face, and oh, he yeah, have my back. He yeah, and I was honest with him. You were. Um, which he, I'm funny. I feel like you know, he was I, not I expecting it. you to say that. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I was so I was so I was just gone, and I was so pissed off from everything else. I was just I'm a very honest man. Um, he was he just looked like he was just beaten. Like, just defeated. He was a defeated... He was just defeated yeah. after that drink was thrown in his face. That was pretty much it for him. Yeah. Um, it doesn't get much better. Listen, Shannon won the episode straight up. Like, there was no comment. Yeah, no, you're right. Did you not see my smile? Shit, no. I Shannon, Shannon won the episode because of the way that the episode was shown. 
Mark Mark won that episode from a if you're if boots on the ground standpoint, but you are <laughs> right that the, that the news version of the episode definitely went to Shannon. And there's no boots doubt on that. The ground. I, I, I just completely disagree. I think it goes to my smile regardless of boots on the ground or boots in the air or boots on the grass, I whatever the hell it had, is. We had our hot let's – just, let's just tally these based on what we saw. We had the hottest entrance we've seen yet. We had a full-on Hennessy in someone's face that was wearing a bubble coat in fucking summer. That was in, good. And then we had a Telemundo <laughs> moment where she was crying and then just immediately shut it off and went and took shots. Yeah. That's tough to beat. I, I was in the shack. I don't know. What do you mean? I was in the shack. Oh, the shack. And, shack I, and I kept a smile on my face the entire time, and I was very charming. Yeah. Then I had to cut my ex. Again, very charming. Showing his ass in smile. And then nope. going to the shack of secrets, being proven to not be a liar. And then smiling all the way through an elimination ceremony where he sent home his ex. Those are honestly, I, we can give split awards. We can split the award. I'm, I'm, not, split the award. I'm not happy with this. The I'm girls not happy. have been running I'm, the show. This far. I'm not happy with the split. For Shannon, I split. I split. I for Shannon. Well, I voted for Mark. Well, then my vote. Still beat. Nope, my huh? vote for Shannon and Mark. Hashtag Daddy Yankees Lounge. I honestly hate that fucking shirt that you're wearing. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the Amateur Half Hour Podcast, starring Mark Jansen, Marie Rhoda, and yours truly, Devin Walker, the stars of X on the Beach, season three. This has been your episode to recap. We appreciate you. It's been brought to you by a bunch of things that didn't actually bring it to you. We'll be seeing you next time. That's a great outro. I love it. I fucking hate both of you.